guys, Nifty Thrifties here. We are back at the bins. We were here, not yesterday, the day before. <laughs> um, and we're back. Again. <laughs> so it's an addiction. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know what we're going to find. We hope that it's Patagonia and like Gucci and all that stuff. But it's yeah, probably not going to be any of Gucci. that. <laughs> yeah, come along with us and we'll see what we find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Sunday this time. Yeah. We it's kind of different. Here. Yeah, we don't come here on Sundays often, so we don't really know what to expect. Yeah, could be awful. Yeah. <laughs> it could be great. We don't know. <laughs> it looks crowded, so. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in there. All right. Found this t-shirt that looks like the Supreme branding, but it's, it's nothing. It's some, from this band Deluxe Standard. When I tried to look this up on eBay, nothing. I couldn't find this at all. But since it looks like Supreme, I thought I'd look it up anyways, because you never know. Supreme does some weird stuff, but it's nothing. Out of that box of stuff, I found these two things, which I'm gonna keep. This is a really interesting Japanese count or country cookbook, but I've never seen a book that's printed on paper like this before. There's these really interesting like pen drawings. And you can see it's like a, it's like a, I don't even know what kind of paper this is, but it's got a texture to it. it reminds me of papyrus or something. Super interesting. And then this is a Stephen King hardback, Eyes of the Dragon. I think it's a first edition, but this is like a Stephen King fairy tale storybook, which I think is interesting with illustrations and stuff. Um, it's missing the jacket, but I still think it's really neat. We've got a haul of like, oh my gosh, how many pounds? I should, I should was look. A lot. It was more than 40. It was lots. Yeah, 42. 42.5. Yeah, pounds. so like, a lot. We had two IKEA bags and also like shoes on the bottom of the cart. So we yeah. got a lot of stuff to cover. Yeah, so this day, like we went. Um, this is the weekend that my sister got married, and we went before her wedding with my dad. And then the next, like the day after her wedding, we returned um, our brother-in-law, great to say it, um, <laughs> his suit in Hillsboro. Um, there was like a men's warehouse in Hillsboro, and we were like, mm. let's do a bins trip too, because <laughs> we're addicts. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to show you what we found. It was a pretty good day, especially for a Sunday. We don't really go on like the weekend usually. Well, I don't know. We've gone on the weekend, but our favorite days are Tuesday and Thursday. Mm. Still true, but yeah. it wasn't as bad as I thought. We found some good things. Yeah, we found yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just get right into that. Boom, so here's the first thing. This is a pair of Columbia 
like children's, so Columbia Bugaboo um, snow pants. These are probably down. You know what's crazy is that I found some Columbia snow pants that were adults um, the a few days before, and I looked them up, and nothing was selling, but children's snow pants in Columbia were selling a lot. Weirdly, um, I think that Columbia might do better just as a whole in kids, because I think I've sold all the Columbia stuff that I've sold most of it, I think, has been kids, and it doesn't sell well. Like, I wouldn't recommend usually picking up Columbia, but we found a few exceptions. Um, this one was probably going for 20 hmm. so, And yeah. it's not down. It's all polyester. Yeah. Ooh, should we? Well, I'll, let's just do it. Okay, this was exciting. I can't fold it. Whatever. <laughs> Looks stupid. Dang it. Just fold. You're so high quality. Why can't you just fold? Everything's fine. Um, yeah, I found this in a bin. It was like so like inconspicuous, but it is our favorite brand to find at the, these bins. It's our most common luxury Schwing. brand. It's Burberry London, baby. Woo. It's not Nova Check or anything. It's not like really loud or crazy. It's just a simple blue shirt, but mm. yeah, mm. we are happy to find it at the bins. I think, yeah, Burberry has been the most common luxury brand for us to find at these bins. I didn't really look up um, comps on this, but I would expect 30 to 50. Yeah. Yeah. Is sounds, that what you were That seeing? sounds right. Yeah, because this isn't even dirty or anything. Not the craziest Burberry item ever, but it's still pretty neat. Yeah. Every once in a while. That logo, like that tag makes my heart jump. I'm just like, ooh. Uh, this is a Nike Air Jordan um, jacket. Like just a collared jacket. Um, it's a little heavier. It's a 3X, so plus size, that probably will sell really well. Did we even look this up? I think we just were like, this will do well. Absolutely. We just like. It's a little, it needs to be hit with the. Uh, needs to be the washed. Lint roller. There's a little hole right there. Are you serious? That's yeah. why. That's why it's there. It'll probably still needs gather some, us something. Needs some depilling and some delinting. Delinting? Yeah, some lint rolling. With if this were in hole, good condition, what were you thinking? Oh, I bet what you. Were you thinking? I bet you this would get 50. 50? Yeah, probably. Um, with that hole, maybe 30. Yeah. It's a really small hole. Yeah. I literally, I'm wearing a shirt right now that I just now discovered has a hole under the armpit. You can't see it, but yeah. Yeah. I like didn't even notice it until now, so holes are not always a big, a big deal. Yeah. Okay, this is another luxury item. Not as crazy as Burberry, but still pretty good. This is an Hermenegildo Zegna dress. And we found this the other day too, like when we were at the bins with my dad, um, or this brand. Yep, it's a dress. Um, it is missing the belt right here. That's not always a deal breaker. Um, I did not see any like consistent like predictable comps when I looked on eBay. So I might either send this to the real real or consign it at the consignment shop in the mall. Retailed for a lot. Hmm. Nice. These are a pair of also nice designer slacks. This is the brand Givenchy. Is that pronounced correctly? I think so. I don't Givenchy Paris. Uh, these are 100% virgin wool. Um, and Givenchy is usually Pretty high end. Did you find yeah. comps for this? I did. Um, so Goodwill only these, wanted eight bucks for these, right? And these are just pants. I was seeing like kind of around thirty, honestly, which is not as much as I like would have expected. But I'll take it. It also is missing a button on the back pocket, but oh. I picked it up because I'm like, it's Givenchy. Like it's just, I want to see how this does. It's a premium like luxury brand hmm. so that was exciting this i picked up without really looking it was towards the end and we just kind of were like let's just get it whatever or let's just get you know what we were looking at mostly um the brand is brass plum it says brass plum nordstrom size three and it's 55 percent linen 45 percent cotton and it's this like vintage black dress. I thought it was so cute. I like the cut of it. It's got a lot, it does need to be like, you know, delinted or whatever. Like <laughs> it's got some 
some stuff on it but um yeah i just thought it looked really classic and high quality it's vintage like so i can find a place for this if not in my own closet so i don't see a lot sold but what has sold in the last 90 days sold for like it was listed for 70 the best offer was accepted um it wasn't like this it was like a pvc trench coat I don't know it's like such a random item and that's like kind of just what you find at the bins it's kind of like each item is like do i want to take a chance on this of course you find some things that you like know exactly what it's going to sell for but there you go that's the end of that story next is this vans long sleeve this is a big shirt this is an xl this is new with tags i think that's why we picked it up i don't know this retailed for 30 bucks um, if we wanted to resell this, probably 15 to 25. All right. Oh, this is another one for you. Do you want to go over that? <clears throat> this is a Nike Hyper Elite, um, I guess, sweatshirt. It's kind of like a athletic sweatshirt. Feels really high quality fabric. Looks like it's kind of vented for athletes and stuff. Um, I'm going to try it on for me. I have this other gray sweatshirt that I got last year that I wore a lot, but it's uh, I don't oh, know, it's kind of starting to fall apart a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also got that at the bins, so this might replace that for me. But it's just like a pullover sweater with a hood, so yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. We found so many Nike like jackets and sweatshirts in this trip, so you'll see a lot. That would probably resell for twenty five. This I picked up, it's also a Nike, it's like a Nike vintage. Whoa. Um, when I looked it up, I saw, it's a, so it's like a suit set. It's this and pants, but I couldn't find the pants. And I think I saw it like, sold for like 70 ish or something with those two together. It's like velvet. I know, it's like velour, like a track suit, like thing. That reminds me of something. It's flight on like, the back. That reminds me of something a basketball player would wear, like in a suit, like a, a whole like set. Yeah, I know. I mean, when I looked it up, it said Jumpman, but I didn't see, like, this doesn't look like Jumpman. I don't know if they just were putting that into the listing. Anyway, but yeah, that was like interesting. And... I want to look at that up closer. Okay. That, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, crap. <laughs> Might be something. What the heck? I believe flight what? flight is referring to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Um, flight <laughs> velvet. It's not Jordan branded though. It's just Nike, right? Right. Oh. <laughs> See, that's it. It's forty. That one's listed for forty. And that one's listed velvet for twenty-five. Flight flight ba basketball track jacket. Okay, basketball track jacket. Listed for forty. Okay, we were like seeing one that. It wasn't like the same exact one, but we were, it said flight on it and it was listed. It was a suit for like 700 and we're like, what? But yeah, it's not that crazy. So we could probably get like 20, 30, something like that. That's usually how Nike is for us. It's usually around 20. Ooh, the sell through is actually negative on that. Yeah. That sucks. But those are worth a lot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. you got to be, if you find anything that's like vintage looking and has the Jordan logo on it, you better be, you best be looking that up. <laughs> yeah. Because some of that goes for stupid amounts of money. Man. Nike and Levi's. Well, Levi's is usually, I don't know. Yeah. Nike and Levi's, they have uh, surprising results if you look it up. Sometimes it's like not anything and then other times it's like insane. Yes. So, yeah. Um, I found these wrinkled pair of Peter Whoa, Pan pants. Those are Peter Pan pants. <laughs> those are like Let's Peter, go. Peter Pan's dad's pants. Yeah, but you okay? But you always say Peter Pan pants, but like he wears tights, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking Whatever. about. Um, it's the brand Kaliana. K A L I Y A. -N -A. Those kind of look like Aladdin pants, actually. Yeah, they do. I looked this brand up and. Like bloomers. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> um, from what I saw that sold in this brand, it was like kind of in that 70 range. Really? And so, yeah, I was like, okay, we'll see about these. 
a lot of this stuff in this haul, like, again, it's not, I didn't find exact comps and like the sell through might not be amazing, but these are just things that we are taking a chance on. We're taking a chance on mm -hmm. all these things. Check it out. These are another pair of those cool. Oh yeah. Pants. Um, these are very similar to the other ones from last week, except for these are like. These are might be women's. Capris. They're like roll yeah. up. Yeah. Roll up capri, cool hiking pants. Navy blue. Actually, they're not even navy blue. They're just blue. Mm. Um, yeah. What what was the comps for the other one? Like 30? Oh, you know, 30, 40. <clears throat> yep, Probably and they're this. perfect condition. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we got 35, 40 for those. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. Oh, crap. I did end up getting this. Mm -hmm. We were in such a rush, like, at the end, and, like, there was so much to process, and so we're like, ah... Cause like I have a maybe pile and I should have just totally thrown this back, but like whatever. So this is free people and it is this shirt looks good. Right. But then it's missing two buttons right here. Um. So I meant to throw this back. And I'm like bummed because this is heavier. What you if know? we just like but. sewed two buttons on there? Well, like they have to be random buttons. They wouldn't match those. Just get some matching buttons though. That's like so much work. Where? I'll probably just, there's no buttons. There's oh, no extra buttons. Oh, they're metal buttons. Yeah, see what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Probably a fail. Probably a fail. I might still list it or something. List I don't it know. flawed. Yeah. Maybe somebody will buy it for $10. I don't know. It's awkward because it's like the buttons that are missing are here. So you can't button it up here. It's like weird. Like what if we took buttons from, that's so much work. It might just be a loss, but you know, whatever. Oops. Oops. Oopsie. We make mistakes. Oops, Pascadio. Pascadio. Let's see. I want to do this. <clears throat> this. It is an L.L. Bean wool sweater. Kind of reminds- Lamb's wool. Lamb's wool. Mm -hmm. ah. um, I don't know if this is vintage L.L. Bean or not, but you know, it looks like a, what do you call this? Like a sailor sweater? No, 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 no. I don't know. It's not a sailor. Maybe a fisherman or something? A fisherman's. No, fisherman's sweater is different. It just looks, looks like a grandpa sweater. Yeah, it's like a classic grandpa sweater. Probably. Th That'd be nice and warm. 20, 30, 40. With L.L. Bean, I just, He's I don't right. have good luck. And I was like, dang it. Like, I mean, I wasn't bummed to find something that might do okay, but I just, I kind of try to steer clear of L.L. Bean, but it's lamb's wool and it's a sweater. So it's good condition. So yes. I would say 20 to 40 Okay. for that. I found a lot of like, this kind of style of thing all together like those peter pan pants um and this and another shirt they're kind of like these me not muted but like more organic colors i guess mm -hmm. and they were all like close to each other and like high quality and so i was like yeah let's grab all these this is the brand woven i believe it's wvn it's a size medium and like after i got home i realized that this is sold at um Target? No, mm. Whole Foods, oh. which is so random. I didn't know that they had clothes. I don't shop at Whole Foods. Um, but yeah, I was really excited about this. Also to like maybe try for myself. Um, is it linen? It does have wear right here, which I just see. It feels like it might be linen. It's just like this maxi dress with like long sleeves, um, which does really well. So it's 100% organic cotton. Ah. Which is also like a desirable, a desirable fabric. So I am excited about that find. If I don't keep it, I'm sure that it'll perform well. Oh, this was another thing that was like in that same area. And so I bet it was the same like person that donated all of these. Cause yeah, these are both like a size medium. I think those were a size medium. Mm -hmm. um, this is Edme and S Esilt. A silt, and this is an anthropology brand. Um, so that's this beautiful, like muted earth tone green blouse. It's like peasanty and boho. So, yeah, I might consign this. It's very beautiful. 
Peasanty. Peasanty. This oh, is yeah. a basic. It's a uh, linen though, I think. Is a linen or? Let's see. Let's do a little bit of oh, research. Oh, there's two. The other bag is over there. Before I start talking. Two identical, except for different colors. Um, I think these are 100% linen. They feel like it, yeah. Polo, actually these aren't even Polo They're Ralph Lauren. They're just Ralph Lauren. Blue Label Ralph Lauren. Lo I think that's middle. Middle, to, it's not the lowest, Probably. but it's not the highest. Something. Blue Label. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to look more into that, but yeah. Yeah, I could even, shirts. there's so many things that we could do. Is that a size large? Uh, yeah. So we could lot these up on eBay, you know, two of these exact same. Um, we could consign these at that place in the mall. They accept Ralph Lauren. Um, we could sell them separately. Yeah, there's a lot of different options. So speaking of Ralph Lauren, yeah, this is Ralph. La Ralph Lauren. Lauren. I'm just saying Ralph Lauren because I want to. Mm -hmm. um, it's Lauren Ralph Lauren. Oh, nice. Yeah. And a little bit higher quality. Yeah. So it is this like kind of it's like a maxi dress gown. It's just ooh, I better not like hurt myself there. But yeah, very long like floor length black V neck classic dress. Yeah, this feels like that higher quality fabric. Yeah. With a slip. Yeah. So I think what I want to do for this is to take it straight to the consignment shop in the mall because I feel like it would do really well there. They, their black dresses that I've taken in or black dresses that I've taken, um, they tend to do better there. I feel like when I'm photographing like black dresses like this, it's hard to show like the full like glory of it. But when you're in, you're shopping in person, you're able to try it on and feel the fabric and see what it looks like and everything. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it for the first bag. I don't know, this is a North Face <laughs> backpack. Um, it's in really good condition. There's no damage. There's just some like, some dirtiness. Yeah, some like maybe stains, but you know, it's not but I will, terrible. I'll wash this. Um, this might even be able to go in the washing machine, possibly. There's some, I'll try to clean this up, get some of these stains off. And um, I think this will sell for like 30, right? 40. 40? Yeah. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a cool backpack. I know, I like to it. Keep that. Like it's totally your style. Yeah. That's the North Face Jester is the yeah. Maybe I'll keep this for me. Is there a backpack you want to switch out? Yeah, my chunky one is all busted. Oh, yeah. something in here. Ew. Is that, what is it's that? Lip gloss. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's a few things in there we'll have to clean out, but there's a pen too. Woohoo. Yeah. Zyrtec, what the? But anyways, yeah, I might use that is totally your style. I might keep this for me after I clean it and yeah stuff and use it for the, to transport my camera gear and junk around. Yeah, that's great. It would match your jackets and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, for compared to the backpacks I usually see at the bins, this was in good condition. Yeah. Usually it's like wrecked. Yeah, that one's not bad. Not bad at all. This I'm excited about. Oh, I thought this was North Face because it, okay. So Ryan has a jacket that's like this, that's North Face. This is Columbia and it's a soft shell black coat in his size. Yeah. And this so, is heavier than my North Face jacket. Oh, okay. It's yeah. heavier. It's fleece lined. It looks, yeah, fleece lined. And so he's going to try it on, see if he likes it. But if not, we might consign it or see what this could sell for because it's really good condition mm -hmm. um so i'm curious right now i might just look it up really quickly and i might just try it on right yeah now. well yeah we'll just see about it fashion show oh my gosh oh what big sleeves oh okay i don't know if that's a deal breaker or not <clears throat> oh yes trying this on in the middle of summer this is fun yummy well that's way too big for you. Is it? Yeah, it like the arms are just too big. Yeah, there's like huge arms. Super weird. It's like the torso part fits right. You know, true to form, Columbia usually sucks. Doesn't do well. Yeah, because even with this, like <laughs> there's one that's a 2X that's 
the same pretty much and it sold for less than $23. Wow. So true to form. Probably gonna take that to the consignment shop. Um Man. or send in the thread up or like I'll just look into opportunities for that because um this is Eileen Fisher. It feels like it's linen. Ooh. What fabric are you? But look at this, it's just adorable. It's just like, pretty sure it's linen or linen blend, short sleeve top, perfect for this season. This season's I, I know you're gonna say that. <laughs> I know you're gonna say that. A must have um, for this season's fashion. Well, yeah, this is 100% organic linen. So there you go, very luxurious. Luxurious. And I will no. look into this might sell it for myself, but um, yeah, that consignment shop, it would perform well there as well. Just. Just. <clears throat> this is a big leather coat that's tan leather. This is really soft. And it's, it's like a butterscotch, that's the color. Butterscotch, yeah, yeah. that works. This is, Wilson. <laughs> this is Wilson's leather, butterscotch leather coat. It's really nice quality. It feels really good. Um, I believe it's just normal leather. I don't think it's any kind of fancy leather. Yeah, I think you were seeing just regular. It just says genuine leather. It's not like yeah. lamb's leather or anything, but it feels like lamb's leather. Yeah, it's really nice. Wilson's leather, like, it's kind of lower tier for, like, if you're selling leather jackets. I don't think it usually does super well, but this style we picked up because it just, like, it's so interesting. It's good quality. Yeah. Um, so I think we were seeing, was it 30 to 40? Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that range. Yeah. 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 All the buttons are there. Like, we'll make some money off of it. Yeah. Let's see. I really am excited about this. I'm going to clean this up because it is kind of like dirty and worn, but it's Lauren Ralph Lauren and it is a, it's like this fleece plaid preppy um, jacket and mm. I just I don't know I like it it's colorful I think it'll do well yeah it'll probably sell in the winter yeah probably um, here's a Patagonia hat this is really gross and dirty right now but I will clean this just like I did the other one I kept asking him I'm like are you sure you want to get this because of we... course I am it's Patagonia okay because okay. like we <laughs> We got a hat that had similar stains and we tried to clean it and it still had the stains and it sold for $12 on Poshmark. I'll try again. I'll keep trying. Okay. It will sell. That's what we know. It will Quickly. sell. It's Patagonia. Patagonia. Oh, we no. found Patagonia. I'm always happy when we do. Yes, you are. It's true. Mm -hmm. This was another Eileen Fisher piece. Um, Fisher price. Yeah. I want to find the fabric tag on this one to organic cotton. And it's just these wide leg pants. They're kind of like a, a shorter style, but yeah, no flaws, excellent quality, organic cotton. Organique. Okay, this is cool. This is a Nike SB yes. windbreaker jacket. Um, this probably will be worth quite a bit. Um, I don't remember if I looked at comps on this or not, but it's a size large. Nike SB does better than most other Nike, um, that's their skateboarding line. I would bet 35 to 50 for this. Yeah, 30, 40 probably. That's what I'm seeing listed. Nike SB just like performs so well for us. Yeah, it sells. Yeah, it's interesting because we thought that like Nike A ACG. ACG like was better because I think that it might retail for more. I'm not totally sure, but like the real world accepts it and the consignment shop does. But um, yeah, it doesn't perform super well for us. And it probably depends on like what the item is. Mm -hmm. But Nike SB, every time we've listed it shortly afterwards, like we have no prob problem uh, moving it. Yeah, we were very excited about that. Oh. I keep doing this to myself. I keep getting Cole Haan bags. And um, this appears to be real. I got a, 
a few Cole Haan bags at the bins that I just kind of like, after looking at them more closely, I'm like, I don't know, they might be fake. Mm. And that sucks. And I'm just like, I keep getting Cole Haan bags at the bins um, without like really looking into authenticity beforehand. But this like I looked feels like real leather. The other one that we got felt like kind of plasticky or something when mm. we felt it more, I don't know. But yeah, this this will probably go for about um, maybe forty. Yeah. Yeah. So I looked. I examined it closely. I looked at all the stitching and everything. It looks pretty real to me. Yeah. Yeah. The logo is centered. It's correct. Yeah, I think it's just an older style. Yeah. So. Um, this is a fun Hawaiian shirt that we found that I'm pretty sure is silk. I don't think it's silk. I think it's cotton. Oh. But it's super funky. Oh yeah, it's 100% cotton, but it's just this, you know, it's really cool jungle pattern with birds and parrots and things and yeah. It's by the brand Pacific Legend Apparel, made in Hawaii. So it's an actual Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Yeah. We can probably get 30 for that. I'll price it higher and accept an offer, but we were seeing that selling consistently for around 30. Nice. Oh, and yeah. is it, it's kind of big. It might be a double X. Yeah, so that adds value. Mm -hmm. There might not be any double X available, so I might have um, an advantage there with how I can price. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is a new with tags. It's like from Marshalls. It's One Clothing Los Angeles blue romper and I kind of like just I got it to try out for myself because it's been so hot lately so much so that like all I can wear around the house is just like a romper like this um so I have like a blue one that's like a light blue and I just wanted to see about this one yeah nice and nice nice I'll do this it's a pair of pants <laughs> um, this is also a Nike dry fit. This is just like regular Nike. I kind of wanted to try these for myself Size large. as lounge pants, which is why I got them. I don't expect much, but they'll probably sell. <laughs> they would probably sell for like 10. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Just basic Nike. Yeah. What's this? Well, wouldn't you know, it's a Nike jacket because we, we got a lot of Nike. This okay, time. I found them all. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have, but I just I don't know. I I think that Nike is like my weakness because I'm like, oh, this is just really high quality and it's a jacket. But anyways, yeah, I found all of these in like the same bin, and I was like, I'll just get all of them. It's kind of this like it's got mesh lining here on the side and in the back it's like vented it's like a workout jacket like you could wear this to the gym or something hmm. like that it's high quality so what's yeah. up with that what's up with that <laughs> this is mountain hardware mm -hmm. and it's a purple wool cardigan Ooh, so yummy. <sighs> i think ryan i think he looked this up and were you seeing like 30 40 something yes. like that it was surprising yeah because i can look yeah. really quick. well this is like yeah old. 37 37 yeah that's mm -hmm. so surprising seraphin wrap cardigan is what it's called it's recycled wool oh that's cool yeah so it it is like it does have some pilling and stuff but but we can deal with peeling. We can deal with that. Peeling. It's not the worst I've seen. Peeling. Peeling. What's this? This is a... Oh, here we go. Another Nike SB. <gasps> I love this. Polo this time. That's the back of it. It's got the little, like, Nike SB shoe graphic on it. That's kind of fun. I love it. Um, what do you see for comps on this? Um, I actually didn't look comps up because I was just like, oh, this is great. I'm going to guess um, 25. I would guess that too. I'm just kind of looking it up now. Nike SB Polo. Oh, I found the same. Dude. Okay. So I don't know the exact price, but the same one like no um, way. was listed for 55 and the best offer was accepted. So like, there you go. I guess it's a Heineken 
Nike SB Heineken polo shirt. Okay. I don't know. F 55? Well, less than 55 because the best offer was accepted. I wish they would tell but you. But like, yeah, I know. It's so confusing. So that means we can list ours for 55 and the best offer will be accepted, I guess. Probably. That's cool. That's neat. That's encouraging. That's neat. That's neat. That's great. We got literally so much Nike. I have a problem. And it will probably all sell. Yeah, I mean, not for a lot, but like, well, I mean, some of it, yeah. This is um, 2XL Nike swim shorts, and I think I was seeing 20 for these. Nice. Board shorts. Board shorts. Um, um, which one would you rather do? Um, I can do... What's all that crap over there? That's gross. Wait. I know. Oh, those are really pilled. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. Well, whatever. Well, that's fine. What's These are Citizens of Humanity Jagger Bootcut Zipply 609s uh, for, I believe they're men's. And I think, what were we, I think I saw like 40-ish for these. And so we're gonna try them out. They do have some wear mm -hmm. to them and we just now noticed like more clearly the pilling on the back. Mm -hmm. Um, like the kind of wear here, but I don't see do any like holes pilling. or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Citizens of Humanity or C of H, we would never pick up usually at the normal thrift store because they're, they're always way priced up. At mm. the bins though, it's probably a solid find. Yeah. The thing is though, I... Like, usually I don't pick them up at all because they don't have a great sell-through rate for women's. But I think it depends on the style. Mm -hmm. And so I'm glad I picked these up just to check on them because, it, yeah, it looks like they were selling for, like, 30 to 40 mm -hmm. maybe. So, yeah, we'll see. Is this the last clothing item? That is the last clothing item. All right, and again. Guess what it is. <laughs> another Nike. This is an interesting jacket and i think it's cotton feels like really quality cotton. this might be i believe this is the one of the older nike logos um maybe this is from the 2000s like it might be y2k era oh yeah um but the reason we picked this up is because it's got these interesting like vented sleeves there and like like the holes, like usually those are put into stuff that's meant to get wet. So I'm Well, not... it just seems like a venting kind it's of a thing. Vented. Yeah. Um, Honestly, the reason we picked this up was because <laughs> I lumped all those Nike jackets together and didn't look them up individually because I didn't really want to deal with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they weren't like all of them have variations that are like interesting. They're not just basic. So. So. Yeah. Yeah, probably 20 to 40. Yeah, probably 20. Somewhere in that range. Huh. That's it for clothing. Um, let's do shoes really quick. Okay. And then we can do the two, those two things. Cool. Okay, so the shoes are really dirty. I haven't had a chance to clean these yet. These are the first thing. These are a pair of Sorel, just like duck hiking actually they're, they're not hiking they're just boots. hiking boots they're not yeah. duck boots but yeah sorel hiking boots um after these are clean these are actually in really good condition they're not really damaged they're just a little bit dirty yeah they just look like someone's been hiking huh yeah um these are size 11s um i think i was seeing like 35 to 40 oh i'm just looking up uh, see i'm seeing more i mean oh really I just typed in Sorrel hiking boots men's and I don't know that's like a really blurry picture is that looks kind of like slightly them. similar but not exactly the same and those sold for like 80. Oh wow. So Sorrel is a good brand to pick up. I found it many times where it's like not in great condition. Mm -hmm. um, These are actually in good condition. They yeah. Just, they need to be just scrubbed a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure if those were the same exact style as these. We'll have to do more research, but probably 50-ish for those. Cool. Maybe, or more. And then this is the first time I've picked up Pumas. Because um, usually Pumas aren't worth anything. 
They've got a little bit of wear on them, but they're overall in pretty good condition. They're a little bit dirty, so I will clean them. Um, I think I was seeing about 30 for those. Actually, in the 40 range. Those are brand new, though. Right. So, maybe 25 to 30 then. Yeah. I wish we didn't pick those up, but it's okay. Because I don't have a lot of space for shoes. I have so many shoes. Yes. And then the last pair we picked up were a pair of Nikes. Um, these were called the Lunar Finger Trap. Whoa, I see it. The way yeah. they're braided. That's so interesting. And these are also in good condition. They're just dirty. So I'll, I'll have to clean these up. And I'm seeing a comp for sold for 40 in this used condition. So those are cool. We should expect about 35 to 40 for these, mm -hmm. which is not bad if we got them at the bin for a couple bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it for all the clothing and shoes. And then we just got a couple of little things. <clears throat> I got um, The Office season seven. We've been slowly collecting the whole series on DVD. Um, and I think we have one through seven now. So we're, we're needing two more to finish our collection. Yeah. And it's harder to find the later seasons. I always find like one through five all the time, but I never find the later ones. So we finally got seven. Mm. So that's cool. And you can do that last one. Yeah. This was one of the first things that I found. And it was just like, yeah, um, in a junk bin. And it's a Star Wars Yoda Santa Claus puzzle. <laughs> so excited about it. Um, this is for us. And it wasn't opened so we know that all the pieces are in there most likely I yeah mean, yeah so i just feel like this would be such a fun thing to like bring for christmas and like do a puzzle or something like yeah i just i love it it's such a vibe i want it <laughs> yeah i'm excited about that so super fun yeah oh yeah man that was a lot of bins stuffs yeah it's gonna be a lot to process in yes. over the next couple of weeks well i'm like i have gotten faster with processing stuff and so i'm like challenging myself to get all of this done like in a few days would be awesome but like by the end of the week at least mm -hmm. i'm challenging myself to do that so nice. yeah we are gonna try about it and about succeed it. about it but yeah, that was like such a fun trip. It's so fun to just go and like see what you can find and learn about new things. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a, it's like a grab bag that you choose what you take. Choose your treasure. Choose your. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all for watching this video. Hey, we're over a hundred subscribers now. That is so cool. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, so exciting! Like, yeah. it's so small to other people, I'm sure, that are you know, huge. But for us, it just means a lot, and it's yeah. encouraging. So thank you so much for watching our content, interacting with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, comment below what your favorite find from this haul was, mm -hmm. and yeah, any questions you might have as well. Yeah, we want to answer questions. We want to be a resource for people. and Yeah, and like you help us out too if we have questions. Like we really appreciate mm -hmm. that. So, yeah. Super cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be back. Soon. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We'll roll that outro. <laughs> yeah. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. If you learned something or enjoyed what you saw, please take a second to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you want more nifty thrifties in your life, why not subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified when we make new videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.